So we're going to have a little video about the health benefits of birch polypore. Birch polypore, polypore is this fungi that we will find growing on silver birch trees. Now that is a very very dry one because that's um, uh, old but when you pick them they are very uh, moist and fleshy, firm and rubbery. This is a pulverized, uh, dried out version and this is a cut and dried version. Now over here on the stove I have a pulverized version which is boiling away in uh, filtered water and you can see it's going a little bit golden like tea. Now I'm going to leave that uh, simmering away for half an hour before I'm ready to sift off um, these little flakes uh, and then I'm going to jar it up in these jars here and I will drink about this much so like a, a fifth of that uh, bottle each day and what I can say about the efficacy of uh, the properties of this fungi which is reputed you can look it up online people it's a miracle food it's got amazing properties that uh, nobody disputes and one of the main things it has is an anti-inflammatory property that's the reason why I took it because I had edema oedema or edema it's spelled in two different ways um, it's the, the retention of fluid on the uh, feet, ankles and lower legs. I had it pretty bad um, and uh, I'll put the video up after this one so you can see how my legs were for... I had it probably for about three or four years uh, before it got too bad because I was doing a lot of walking last summer and every time I'd come back from the walks my feet were was in so much pain um, all the bones and muscles in the sole of my feet and there was swelling uh, this deep on my calves uh, and, and the, the um, uh, tibia uh, so I'd press in the finger and it would literally go in like half an inch like that uh, leave an indentation there and so I thought, well, I've got to get this sorted. So I went to see the doctor. And what did the doctor say? Oh, we'll do some blood tests. The blood test came back fine, and that was it. And then I said, well, the blood tests are fine, but I've still got edema. So uh, what are you recommending? Uh, raise your feet. Uh, try not to stand or do too much walking. Um, try bathing your feet in mm, nice hot water. And um, see how you go with that. And that was it. So I'm going to show you now uh, the extent of my uh, feet now when the edema is completely gone. So put one foot up on here and when I used to press in here that would go in half an inch. There would literally be that much swelling and when I'd been wearing my boots uh, which were tight up to there the swelling would come out half or an, a whole inch all the way up there and all this was was fat and swollen and um, then it actually went right up to uh, above the knee so I could no longer do yoga because it was just too tight for me even to sit in this position like this you sit in this position with the legs like this I couldn't do that because that was too swollen it was it was it was too huge and so I thought, okay, well, I've heard about polypore uh, for reducing inflammation. I'd already been on a lot of other stuff um, to reduce inflammation. Like, uh, I take all these things, um, which, um, you know, many of which have got anti-inflammatory properties. And I eat a lot of anti-inflammatory uh, foods. And so what I can say now, uh, how long did it take? It probably took about six weeks. Um, no, no, about three months. It took about three months before uh, the swelling to uh, disappear completely. And um, 
let me think now from September, October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, it may even have took four months, people. It's, um, it's not a, a cure overnight, uh, but, but slowly the, um, the, the pain went away, uh, the swelling went away, and uh, for a while there was still some fluid, and I thought, okay, well, maybe that's just my age because I stand up and I'm active and this, that, and the other, and I had a level of acceptance with that, but I harvested enough of the polypore uh, to last these six months and I've still got another two months of it left which will take me up almost to the time of year when it will be in abundance again where I'm going to make sure that I've got a right good bunch of it and what I do I slice it all up in cubit and then uh, pulverize it and then I put it into little um, zip Zippo bags, and I freeze it in um, amounts uh, like this, which will last me one week uh, in the fridge. And so um, I've mostly used all of the, the frozen stuff, and now I've got this dry stuff remaining because I started doing it like this. But then I thought, well, by the time you've dried it like that, um, okay, if you don't have enough freezer. Uh, space to uh, store up let's say like 50 or 70 small Zippo bags um, of about half of that amount. If you don't have enough freezer room for that then you can dry it but it just takes a little bit longer um, with, with the preparation with the uh, boiling up. And so um, a miracle cure as far as I'm concerned. And my daughter said to me, she says, well, have you been taking anything else at the same time? And of course, this is a very good question, because if we were taking lots of other things um, uh, at a similar time, then you wouldn't know for sure. But I said, well, I have been taking other things, and I've been taking the other things for years, and the, the edema was still there. And so it was only with the introduction of the polypore that it went away. Now, what I will say is when you watch videos about uh, polypore tea, uh, on YouTube, they're always messing around with just a little, you know, teetotal amount. And it's kind of like they have like um, half a glass and, uh, you know, but I, I have like, you know, three quarters of a glass up to where those ribs end and I drink two of those a day. And the, um, the tea I have is uh, pretty concentrated. You see people and they are putting like, uh, let's say that much uh, in, in, in a um, drink and, and I suppose for one drink then you know that's a good amount um, but just to mess around with it for one drink here and there why not just include it into your diet if it's such a miracle thing and it's in such an abundance if you have silver birch trees in your vicinity um, <coughs> then why not uh, harvest uh, a right good bunch of them and make it a part of your everyday sustenance. So that's what I've done people and uh, very very happy now and now I can walk uh, for several miles and I'll only get a little bit of pain in the ball of my right foot and I'm hoping that that's going to go away entirely but um, you know um, well, what can I say? I can't say any more than that. That that's the extent of it. Uh, under normal circumstances, I'm uh, swelling and pain-free. But then, if I do a lot of walking, like I do through the woods and everything like that for several miles, then I suppose it's to be expected. At 61 years old, that I'm going to have uh, a few little aches and pains here and there. But uh, there you go, people. And um, so, don't be afraid because there's only one. Um, polypore which um, is poisonous and it's not deadly and it's very easy to discern so all you do is you go online and you look for birch polypore and then you look for the, the poisonous look-alike and you know everyone will tell you that there's only one that you know you, you shouldn't be eating and it's very different and so a little bit of confidence in your own minds that's what I always say uh, because there's too many people these days which is just terrified. They can't even rely on their own 
get consciousness and their own rational thinking. And even though you've read it, you've read it, you've read it, you've read it, you've done all your research, people are still terrified to take that, you know, that extra step and trust their rational thinking. And that's why they won't touch wild foods. And, you know, look, if I didn't take these polypores, then I'd still have edema now. It would be very, very debilitating, painful, restrictive, and I'd be feeling my age. But as it is, I've got a miracle cure, and I'm feeling like I'm 21 again. Alrighty then. Maybe 28. So there you have it, people. The miracle of polypore.